What's going on, everybody? Chris Ballard here, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you again today with another college football preview video for the 2020 season as I try to knock some of these out as we get closer to the start of the season. We hope uh, at the beginning of September and today, <sighs> Vandy. I know what you're thinking. Why Vandy? Why Vandy? You even did Arkansas. I, I mean, listen. Trying to be a sportscaster, trying to be fair. I don't care if the team's good or not. I'm going to talk about them. You might not like how I talk about them, but I'm going to talk about them. So, getting into this. Look back at 2019. Open up with Georgia. Uh, you lose that game 30-6. to uh, So, I mean, bad start to the season. Although, Georgia's a really good team. Uh... You know, they're at least good enough to where they're not going to lose to a cupcake like that. Then you go on the road, lose to Purdue, 42-24. Uh, Ohio State lost to Purdue on the road. I guess it's a really tough place. Uh, it, it's like a cursed stadium for any other Power 5 team to go there, I guess. I don't know. Get a bye week, week 3. Lose to LSU. Lose to a team that's like NIU. Or actually, you beat NIU. I'm sorry. You beat them. Get your first win after four straight losses. Three straight losses, I'm sorry. Um, having a bye week in the third week of the season. Then you start losing again. At Ole Miss, lose 31-6 on the road. Ole Miss is a better team than you. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Uh, play at uh, UNLV. I'm not even sure who that is. That's a cupcake team that Bama should be scheduling before the Iron Bowl. Considering they always schedule a cupcake before the Iron Bowl. You lost to that team 34-10. to Then you get a win over Missouri at home. How in the heck can you beat Missouri but lose to uh, Purdue and UNLV? I don't know. Uh, but you beat Missouri at home. Good for you. Only beat them by a touchdown. Get a bye week. Your second bye week. Uh, at South Carolina, loss. At Florida, loss. Kentucky, loss. Uh, you beat ETSU 38 nothing, And you lose to your rival in Tennessee 28-10. to So, you went 3-9 and nine overall. 1-7 and seven in the conference. Um, only beating Missouri in conference play. So, I, I mean, I'll give you that. But... I mean, what 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 else do you want me to say about Vandy? I don't know. But moving on from that, let's get into the 2020 season. All right, again, I went through the 2019 schedule. 3-9 and nine last year, 1-7 and seven in conference play. Uh, so I, I don't know what to expect from Vandy, uh, but let's look at their schedule. Open up. With uh, Cupcake and Mercer. Uh, Mercer Bears. I, I think they're an FCS school, obviously. Bama played them a few years ago. Um, prior to, like, the Iron Bowl or whatever. Then you go on the road at Missouri. Then you go on the road week three at Kansas State. A Big 12 team. Uh, ask Oklahoma about what it's like going there. Uh, home game against Colorado State. Um... Then you go on the road at Georgia, uh, home against Ole Miss, at Kentucky, bye week. Everyone only gets one. Only reason everyone got two last year was because of the uh, how the ca calendar ended up falling with Thanksgiving being the 28th of November. And the, uh, the season started August 31st. Pretty much regular season ended November 30th. Um, let's see. Week one, Mercer. Uh, week two at Missouri, at Kansas State. Home against Colorado State. Then you're at Georgia week five. Uh, need I say more about Georgia? Get your cross-division rival in Ole Miss. You get them at home this year. At Kentucky. Uh, in Lexington. Uh, I think is where they play, you know. Um, then you get a bye week, week eight. Come off the bye week. Uh, it does not get much easier. Home against South Carolina, home against Florida, at A&M. Home against Louisiana Tech, and then home against Tennessee. 
Arkansas and Vandy are the two worst teams in the SEC. They are so bad to the point they should not be in the SEC. With how great of a conference the SEC is in general. Um, so you, you look at this schedule. I already got it picked out. I, I, I mean, I, I think week one you can open up with... I don't want to say open up with a big bang or anything like that, but you get you, you're off to a good start. I think you beat Mercer uh, at Missouri. Whether you're uh, now okay, I don't know what to make of the new coach Eli Drinkwitz. I guess I'll do all right. Um, I, I guess if this were uh, Missouri at Vandy. If this were home for you guys, maybe you could win it, but this is a road game. Missouri is pretty tough um, in Columbia. Um, Columbia, Missouri, that is. Uh, so, you'll probably lose that game. At Kansas State, ask Oklahoma what's that, what's that like. Uh, they'll tell you. Loss. Colorado State, should be no problem. You get them at home. Even if you're on the road, Colorado State's not that great, all that much. Uh, then you get Georgia coming to town, or actually, you go you go to Athens. Either way, Georgia's a program right now to look out for, or kind of. I mean, they're recruiting very well. Kirby Smart still needs to figure it out, but uh, you you can definitely say, yeah, they're one of the two best teams along with Florida in the East. Should be no problem uh, for them to beat Vandy. I mean, if they lose to Vandy, um, I, what are we going to say about Georgia? They're not going to lose to Vandy at home. Even if it was on the road, Georgia going to Vanderbilt. I mean, so you'll, you'll lose Georgia. Um, Ole Miss, this was tough. This is a home game. I like the Lane Kiffin hire. I already did a Ole Miss preview. Uh, he's got SEC experience. I th I think he could do something with Ole Miss. I think he could do something great. I don't, I don't want to sit here and say he's going to win him a title or anything. He might many, many, many years down the road. But they're far better than Vanderbilt. So you're probably going to lose this game home or away. At Kentucky. They were all right a few years ago. Uh... What I'm gonna, what to make of them right now in 2020? I don't know, but I, I I'm sure they're gonna be a lot better than you are. That's another loss right there. Then you get a bye week again. Come off that. That's not gonna help you out for South Carolina. Uh, I mean, <sighs> Williams Rice is tough. It is. Loss. I, I know it, it might seem like I'm a little bit lost. I, I mean, I just, I wanted to do this preview video. I don't, what do you want me to say about Vandy? They'll lose to South Carolina. Next week, Florida. Home or away for those two? Loss. At A&M, that's a loss. Louisiana Tech, that's a win. Uh, because Louisiana Tech's a high school team. You should have no problem with the high school teams, I think. Lose against Tennessee at home. Uh, it's a rivalry game. A lot can happen, but I like Jeremy Pruitt and what he's doing with the program. With all that being said, you're looking at one, two, three, uh, three and nine record for Vandy in 2020. Wins against Mercer, uh, Louisiana Tech, and Colorado State cupcake games. Uh, I mean, all of those are home games, by the way. Listen. A lot could happen. You could, listen, prior to the football season, you can sit here and predict all you want to. I still believe you never really know, but at the same time, being realistic about it, I mean, listen, Vandy has been and probably always will be, at least in my lifetime, uh, the bottom of the SEC East. What else do you want me to say? Arkansas. The bottom of the SEC West. Um, again, what do you want me to say? I don't know what to expect. Uh, they could be better than we think. 
maybe they do beat a team like South Carolina. Maybe they do, uh, you know, maybe go and beat Kansas State or something. I don't know. But I really don't expect Vandy to be that good this year. 3-9 and nine is what I'm calling it. And, uh, I mean, Vanderbilt fans can whine and complain and come on here and tell me how wrong I am. Anyone else can tell me how wrong I am. I don't see a lot happening for Vanderbilt. When's the last time they made a significant bowl game? When's the last time they won a bowl game? Been a while. Been a couple years, I think. So, I mean, you know, there's not really much to expect f from them. So, that's just my opinion. It is what it is. Uh, I, I really want to see teams like Vandy do good. I want to see teams get better this season in the SEC, if I'm being completely honest. So, I hope they prove me wrong. But, I'm sticking to a 3-9 and season. Anyway. Anyway, that's it for me. I, I'm sorry this wasn't as long as, you know, other ones. I mean, it's Fandy. What do you expect? Three and nine is what I'm calling it. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, really do appreciate it. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Vandy fans, let me know why you're going to go 15-0. Do this or that. Why you're making a bowl game. Uh, again, this is just a prediction. I, I don't... You went three and nine last year. Uh, I don't expect much change. I mean, if you don't believe me on last year's schedule, look it up. Uh, 3-9 and nine again this year. I don't see much improvement. I don't see much change. Um, maybe you do beat a team like South Carolina. Or, uh, I mean, I don't know. But it, it it's just Derek Mason has just, he can recruit all he wants to. Um, I like the Buccaneers draft pick that, that they got this year in Keyshawn Vaughn. I saw his highlights. He looks like a great running back. He can recruit very well, but he cannot, to save his life, get a good winning season. At least one. So, I, I mean, I don't know. It just is what it is. You guys suck, and I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, you just are the worst team in the East as far as the SEC goes. So, anyway. But that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in today. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, Ballard Sports Media. Checking out. Y'all have a good day.